What's up everyone? I'm Wendy and welcome back to The Bomb Show, the authority on six scale. Today's episode is sponsored by Sideshow Collectibles on an elite stage where quality belongs, period. Muchas gracias. And yes, we're friggin' damn anxious to get right into this piece. So without any further delay in the force, introducing... <laughs> Skywalker in Hoth gear, as seen in the incomparable Empire Strikes Back, arguably the greatest of all Star Wars films to date. Anyway, the box is exactly what we expect and hope for. A classy and simple gray on black multi-panel rollout window box sporting large detailed product photography, logos, and all necessary manufacturing info. Inside, we get twin full-size windows for a complete view of the long-awaited Rebel Hero and his assortment of accessories. Wow, what can we say beside absolutely sweet? To myriads of people around the world, Luke Skywalker has been a friend, a role model, and an icon. We just like to think of him as an ass-kicking hero that doesn't need a mask or a cape. In this case, a simple frigid weather suit Simple, but oh so awesome. Every inch of this guy is loaded with exceptional craftsmanship and high-end collectible quality. Weathering on top of paint applications, on top of tailoring and sculpting from some of today's finest collectible craftsmen. Luke Skywalker deserves no less. It's been many years since Sideshow released a six-scale incarnation of this guy, and never before in hot gear. So we've been anticipating this piece big time. By the looks of things straight out of the box, we are much more than pleased. Commander <laughs> Skywalker is based around the Prometheus body, which features virtually all of Sideshow's latest and greatest in six scale figure tech. You're looking at well over 30 points of articulation, including universal wrists, shoulders, ankles, and hips, double jointed knees and elbows, swiveling thighs and biceps, rolling shoulders, a triple ball jointed neck, and a four piece triple jointed torso. This particular Prometheus version will pose with the best of the best out there. As far as Luke's extreme weather getup is concerned, we start with a pair of tan pants featuring functioning pockets and button snap fly, micro stitch detail, and padded knees. Below that, we have a pair of beige and brown snow boots featuring a gray sculpt and paint job and multimedia design featuring a hard plastic bottom and super soft rubber uppers for great ankle articulation. Up top, we have the two-tone jacket featuring rebel rank identification on the right sleeve, authentic button snaps down the chest, and Velcro fastener at the collar. We also get a padded upper body and sleeves elastic wrists, and fully functioning sleeve pockets. On top of that, we have the tan vest featuring padding all around, button snaps down the chest, sculpted mechanical peripherals, and fully functioning pockets. At the sides, we have the two-tone segmented gloves and sleeves featuring a great paint job and separately sculpted tech peripheral on the left sleeve. Around the waist, we get the belt and holster combo featuring Velcro belt buckle, multiple faux utility pouches, authentic metal loop and lightsaber hook, and magnetic clasp on the pistol strap. Finally, we have Luke Skywalker's head sculpt. To be honest, we actually like the portrait in person better than we thought we would. We actually prefer the final product over the prototype picks. We feel like we get more of a Mark Hamill likeness in hand. And Sideshow once again provides the multimedia head composed of separate materials down to the beautifully machined glossy eyes. Luke looks incredible from the micro skin textures down to the subtle paint nuances and even the slightest blemishes on Mark Hamill's face, all very much amazingly executed. The headgear is beautifully crafted as well, featuring beautifully sculpted head wrap, cap, fabric headband, and super cool micro communication unit, not to mention the authentic goggles, featuring a transparent lens and an elastic strap. If that ain't enough, we also get an alternate Luke head sculpt featuring 
an unbundled up portrait of Commander Skywalker from the prototype pics, we expected a different expression, but it actually appears to be the same face as the standard head, so it looks just as good to us, plus it grants double the display value to the figure. Again, from the prototype pics, we thought there were two separate head sculpts, neither of which, in our opinion, surpasses the end result portraits. As far as accessories go, Luke comes with what we'd expect from this incarnation of the Jedi. First off, we get his DL-44 blaster pistol. Sideshow has it listed as DK-44, which we think is a boo-boo, or it could be the Model 57 blaster. Whichever you like, it's beautifully sculpted, painted, and weathered, and it's got its own dedicated holster on Luke's belt. Next up, we get the Model TD-2.3 Electro binoculars featuring great sculpt and paint details, as well as an authentic fabric strap. Of course, we get Luke's trusty lightsaber featuring a beautiful sculpt and super clean paint job. On top of that, a metal belt loop and way cool frosty paint effect on the saber portion itself. We also get an unlit lightsaber hilt to display on Commander Skywalker's belt for less is more dynamic display options. Sideshow also supplies us with eight unique hands, left and right options for each accessory, give or take, reaching hands, and of course, a balled up fist. And finally, we get the contemporary Sideshow hexagonal adjustable lower support stand with a pair of really nifty Hoth accents for additional environment and display options. <laughs> Well, we're certainly more than pleased with this release. Among many other fantastic current releases, there's way too many amazing six scale releases to keep up with nowadays. Anyway, this guy is pretty much as superb as he is right up our alley. That being said, we can objectively and comfortably state that this is clearly any generation's finest Hoth Luke Skywalker six scale figure, as we expected. And in all honesty, we even dig this guy a tad more than we expected to. Expect to hear plenty of praises and criticism in future reviews of this guy, which obviously means you'll ultimately have to decide for yourself. On a side note, we've been asked a couple times, so we thought we'd mention that anyone is welcome to share our videos. We would love the helpful promotion. We also want to give a birthday shout out to Rez. Hopefully you had a good one. Until next time, peace and love.